Yo, what's up everybody? It's your main man here, DJ Ron the Mechanic, back with another video. What's going on, everybody? So guess what, y'all? We finally go get to do a I would say a small little upgrade to my daughter's car on her music. That's right. We gotta do a little small little upgrade to it, you know. Add a little something to her music. That's right. So I know you're probably saying what I'm about to add to it. No, no subwoofers or anything. We about to change out the tweeters in her car. So she has a newer car, which is a 2023 Toyota Corolla. So I listened to the system. Uh, it's oh, all right. I'll put it like that. It's all right. Not on my level, but you already know. So, you know, it has the basic stereo system that come in there. Uh, it has uh, two tweeters in the dash and it has all together four six and a halves one in each door so i got a little something for her car so hey we gonna do a little upgrading on it try to better the sound a little bit so i'm gonna show y'all what i got all right everybody so here we go this is what i have right here i have this box of tweeters uh matter of fact this is a box that uh, I ordered off of Timu. So, uh, let me see, it's kind of hard to open it with one hand, but yep, that's how they look. Nice looking little dome tweeters. Y'all see that? That's a little mountain ring part uh, right there. But yeah, they're a nice looking set of little dome tweeters though. So that's what I'm going to uh, install in her car, you know. Hey, if you look at them real good, they kind of look like them Pioneer tweeters almost pretty much. So, but yep, that's what we're going to work with there. Uh, and this right here is a front speaker wire harness for Toyotas. So now this one here, it says for, you know, the, the newer model Toyotas, y'all see the ends on that and everything. So I'm gonna try these adapters here. See, I'd rather use these adapters rather than cutting up the wires, you know what I mean? So let's just say you decide you wanna get rid of the car and you wanna take whatever little music out, it's much easier to order your wire harnesses a with these here, you can just unplug them, take out your new speakers, and if you keep the factory speakers, you can put those right back in, no problem. Hey, you're not losing anything. But me personally, this is the best way to go without cutting any wires. If you're doing a basic install, and what I mean by basic install, just changing out factory speakers in your car, this is the way to go. Just Get your little wire harness plugs. It'll make your insulation a whole lot easier, y'all. Trust me. So, uh, this is her car right here. This is her 2023 Toyota Corolla. I know y'all done seen it before on one of my videos and everything. So, and that's her dash right there. Look, y'all see the tweeter right there? So yeah, I already know I got a little, a little work to do with it. So this is gonna be my first time. No, oh we got some, oh, got a little dirt on the dash. Don't worry, we'll take care of that. So yes, y'all see it. That's where the tweeters are mounted at on the dash on here. So we're going to. Uh, We're going to tackle it today, y'all. And hey, look, try and see what we can do to it, you know? Make it sound a little better. So I've been wanting to do this project here for a while now. So hey, finally got the chance. So hey, we gonna have my daughter sounding pretty good up in there. That's right. So, uh, just pretty much what I'm using. Like I say, the tweeters, like I say, you can get these Right here off of uh, Timu. Matter of fact, I did a video a while back on these. Hey, they sound pretty good though. 
and of course like i just said this right here is your adapter uh you can order this uh pretty much any adapter right off of amazon that's where you get it from now my tools that i'm using for the cut wire or whatever you know if i have two or splicing the wires whatever this is what i'm using my little crimp set right here which is nice uh it came from i crimp tools hey just to let y'all know hey this company here they make some good quality tools i'm telling you y'all need to check them out look y'all see how this crimp set look right here look at that got everything in there got all the connectors look at that and you can tell i've been using it already on a few installs so it come with all that down uh, it actually come with two rows of uh the tie wraps but i used one already but just to show y'all hey get you a set of these right here i'm telling you you got your wire cutters on there your crimpers the wire strippers on there and that's the model number on this one right here but yep i will definitely uh put their website on the uh, screen so that way y'all can go check them out and also uh i can give y'all a discount code too if you decide to buy any you can use my discount code hey save yourself some money and like i say hey they make some good quality tools y'all look i've been using this on my install makes my job a whole lot easier so make sure y'all go check them out i crimp tools that's right so we're gonna have at it with this here y'all uh first time doing it hey look y'all go take a ride right along with me we gonna learn how to do this together so if you're not scared to work on your car now you know hey come with me now so looking at this here first thing first i can tell you right off the top i'm going to need a pry tool for the pop that cover off just to see uh what we're looking like so i got a little trim set right here that i'm gonna use if they don't work too close in that corner I got something else, so uh, let me see. Oh, what did I do with the other one? I had another one, but hey, we go try this here first just to see what we're looking like. All right, let's see how see how we can get this off right here. I'm thinking it shouldn't be that bad. Let's see, take my little pride too. Oh yeah, y'all see that? Oh yeah, that pops up real easy. There we go. That pops up real easy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It, it's attached to the back end of it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, they actually don't give you too much room to work with on here. Okay, so I see there's a little tab that you gotta press for the release the wire on there. Let me see if I can zoom in for y'all so y'all can see. Yes. So here's the tab right on the back. Hmm. Yep. So look, uh, I'm gonna have to set y'all down for just a few seconds, whatever, so I can get this off. Cause yeah, this is a, uh, It'll be kind of tough trying to do this with, with one hand. I can tell you that. Now, I could try it. But, yeah, it's going to be tough. So, 
let me go ahead and uh, set the camera down and take this off and I will get right back with y'all. But y'all see how easy it was to pop that off though. All right, let me handle this right quick. All right, everybody. So I have the tweeters out. So this one right here, this is the one from the driver's side and this is the one right here from the passenger side. Let's take a look at the back. So this is what they look like right here. Hmm, okay, so it's a little small, little dome tweeter here. Look, check out the power rating on this from here. Look at that. It's a full ohm 20 watt speaker. Well, a tweeter rather. Okay, look like the look like it just locks in. Okay, yeah, like it just locks in place. So they got look like one, two, three little tabs hold it in. All right. So I can see right now you have to be a little careful taking these out, so you won't break them. You know what I mean? So. We definitely gonna have to uh, do a little gently pull on these for the popping back. All right, look, let me go ahead and uh, attempt this right quick. Sure. So look, just in case if any of y'all have a you know, new Toyota Corolla or whatever, shoot. Y'all wanna change out something, hey. Look, we will work this out together. That's right. So let's figure this out. Uh, let me see here. Something like a little tab here. Let me see. Be a little careful with it. There we go. Got that end up. Let me see if I can bend them both at the same time. So I got one. Okay, you got the other. Let me pull it back a little bit. There we go. All right, we got it. So this is what the factory tweeter looks like. I don't know what kind of cone material that they use on this here. But there's a the little plug input. So we're gonna set that to the side. And y'all see, here are the tabs, what I was talking about. So really and truly, you can just kind of like pry these back just a little bit. And at the same time, you can pull them up, but take your time doing it so you won't break anything. So here are the adapters now. You know what? I need to open these here up just to make sure that they fit. So that way we won't have no issues at all. All right. Hey, look, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Yeah, I really do. So, all right. So, looking at that, let me see if I can set y'all down right quick. I'm gonna try. It's gonna be a little tough, so bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. Oh boy. All right. Let me see. Let's try this here. Let, let, let's see if this works. And if we do, boy, we in business. So I'm assuming it probably goes in. Oh, yep, there we go. Look at that. 
straight fit, y'all. Oh yeah, hear that? Direct snap in. Now y'all see what I'm talking about? Look, I ain't had to cut no wires at all. Look at that. Just straight snap it together. And of course these here go go to your new speakers. Just that simple. See that? Just that simple. Don't you like that? You don't have to chop up your car at all. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Boy, when I tell you these here make life a whole lot easier when you install them. Man, oh man. Yes, yeah, sir, it makes life a whole lot easier. So just to show y'all one more again. There we go. Yep, that looks pretty good. And look, then it's enough for me to extend the way I can just connect right here with no problem. But y'all know I'm gonna have to do a little modification though for to get the new tweeters to uh go in on those plates, you know? So hey, it's all good. I'm gonna have to do it, have to do it. So that's the other one over there. Do the same thing over here. So, yep. Uh. So, yep, I gotta get over there, do the same thing, y'all. For this one here. Yep, and look, it's always tough trying to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh put that one on right quick. And then once I do that. And we go come back and uh try and figure out something here. How we go do this? So, a hey, little brainstorming. Let's go. All right. So, as you can see, comparing the aftermarket tweeters versus the factory tweeters, you clearly see the difference right off the top. You know, clearly see it. Now, the next thing though, I got a brainstorm on how I want to put these new tweeters on. So they look a little big now. So let's see what we can do here let me see this come off cool all right yep i'm gonna do some heavy modification well look at the size difference yep gotta do a little brainstorming y'all big time big time gotta do a little brainstorming on this one Yep, so I'm gonna figure something out. Uh, trying to see. Hmm. Cause I didn't want to do this, you know? Said I mounted on the top part like that. Didn't want to do that, cause simply because the wire need to go somewhere, you know what I mean? So, I mean, uh, then you'll see it be sitting up like that on the dash, so. Yep, we definitely gotta put something together there, big time. So, yep, my work is cut out, so. I'm gonna sit here and brainstorm a little bit. Hey, if I get something together, hey, I will show y'all the finished product once I get my ideas together on this one here. Yes, now I know, look, I'm thinking like, yeah, I could just clip all that off. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. 
what y'all think? Not to trim all that down, then a new tweet will go in. But, mm, we shall see y'all, so. All right, y'all, we got it together. Check it out, tell me what y'all think. Got the tweeters in there. So I decided to go ahead and do a flush mount on these instead. So look, y'all see, look at it. Look good, don't it? Yes, sir. I got them wired up to the, to the harness. So guess what? Now it's time to take them to the car. That's right. Really truly, I need to tie that wire up some, but I think I can do that. Yep, I'm gonna tie it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this back together. Let me just snaps in. That's what I like. See that? Once you hear that, that snap in, oh yeah, she ready to go. Now before I put everything together, I'm gonna do a little sound test on it just to make sure that they sounding. So I gotta get the other one. I'll do the same thing. So really and truly, y'all, uh, this really wasn't a bad install for these here. I mean, hooking these up, I'm like, yeah, this was pretty easy. Like I said, though, long as you got those adapters, oh yeah, it makes a world of a difference. Because on these cars here, on these uh these adapters, the factory adapters, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but see, look, they have four wires going to it. So then you talking about you had to look up the color code, trying to figure out what's negative, what's positive. Nah, I ain't got time for all that. Just give me the adapter, let me plug in, which already has the positive and negative output already. And all I gotta do, just connect the speakers or tweeters, whatever. Make it real simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that other one right quick. Uh, now you know what? I can't turn on nothing without the keys. Ah, darn it. So, yeah, I gotta go inside and get the key, y'all, so we can get a sound test. So, I'll be right back. Just hold on. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, I got the keys. So, now, nah, only one thing, though, unfortunately, her cart doesn't have USB, so hers is just straight Bluetooth, so... Uh, I'm not gonna play any of that copyright, you know what I'm saying? So, but hey, check out the install though. Look at that. Got them in the dash. They're looking good. Ah, oh, here we go. Check it out. Tell me what y'all think, man. They, they look pretty good in that dash, man. Look at that. Look like they came with the car. Yep. Looks pretty good there. I like that. Yep, I like that. Yes, indeed. So, yep, that's the way the dash look, y'all. I just wish I could play it for y'all, but yeah, like I say, I don't want to get copyrighted or nothing like that. And I could have sworn I thought her car had a USB, which I had some uh some USB. Uh, well, not I mean, duh, yeah, I got the USB, but the music 
on the USB that's uh, YouTube approved, but dang it, her car don't have a USB on here, man. Just all lightning cables and Bluetooth, so oh well. But yeah, y'all see the install though, man. Y'all see, I got it looking good. So, yep. And matter of fact, I did play them off camera and hey, I noticed the difference. They sound pretty good, y'all. They sound pretty good. Yes. So, yeah, that's a bummer, though. I can't play it for y'all, like, talking about it. But, hey, they're installed, though. Look at that. Yes, sir. Looks good. One on the other side. I mean, fit snug like a rug there. So, yep. Her car is going to be sounding a little bit better now. But it's going to sound way better. Like once I get her some new six and a halfs up in there. Oh my gosh. She going to be jamming up in there, y'all. Yep. Look, y'all see I got my daughter car cleaned up. Look, just look at the reflection on this. Ooh, that thing beaming, ain't it? Yes, sir. That's right. Hey, look, all the cars in our yard, hey, look, ain't nothing dirty over here. Wife car clean, my car clean. Hey, ain't no dirty cars over here. So, but yep, hey, that's all the installation right there, y'all. Like I said, this is a 2023 Toyota Corolla. Uh, did a tweeter replacement, took out the factory tweeters and installed some aftermarket tweeters. Y'all see how they look. And like I said, my opinion now, which I think is the best. Now, if you're doing just a simple speaker swap out on your car, it's best to, of course, the speakers and the doors, it's best to buy the adapters for those speakers so that way if you decide you want to take those speakers out you can put the factory speakers back in well unfortunately these here well they can stay in there i don't care about them that i got about three more pair of those but all your other stuff if you want to take out it's best to get those adapters so that way it's like a plug and plate take them out swap them in the time you know but yep that is it y'all I got her car done. So, and trust me, she's gonna notice the difference. Yep. That is it. So, all right, y'all. Look, this DJ Ron the Mechanic here. Hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out on another video. Yes, indeed. I got my daughter car looking good, y'all. She about to be even better with the sound. That's right. So, all right, y'all. I will check y'all later. And on to the next video. All right.